I'm Sergeant Darren Wright of the Washington State Patrol. We're all aware of the governor's stay at home, stay healthy order. And we understand that essential employees need to get to work and that people need to go to the store occasionally to get supplies. We want you to know that the Washington State Patrol will not make traffic stops just to check your travel status or ask for any additional documents or letters. The only documents you'll need on a traffic stop are a registration, driver's license, and proof of insurance. Let's talk about uniforms and our patrol cars. This is the typical uniform that you'll see the troopers wearing in the Washington State Patrol. It consists of the French blue uniform, we have brass buttons, we have a gun belt, and of course, most of our uniforms have the gold shoulder patch. Our formal uniform has the Smokey Bear hat, and of course, we're the only ones in the state that I know of that are rocking a bow tie. This is another uniform you might see our troopers wearing out in the field. Some of our specialty units like K-9, Homeland Security, and Capitol Campus Troopers wear this uniform. You'll see that it has the badge, it'll have the gun belt, and our very unique patch on the shoulder of most of our uniforms. You can use these things to identify uniforms for the Washington State Patrol. Other identifiers of this uniform tend to be on the back. Standard issue Washington State Patrol vehicle is gonna be white in color. There'll be lights mounted throughout the vehicle and a push bar on the front. If you notice on the driver's side, there'll be a spotlight mounted here. On the roof will be a light bar. And on the door of all marked State Patrol cars will be the word State Patrol with our shield and the lightning bolt. The State Patrol also uses unmarked patrol vehicles. They come in different colors. You'll notice that the light bar and the spotlight have both been removed and there's no markings on the door. There's no push bar on the front and there's no lights that you can see. It looks like any other vehicle on the roadway. These vehicles do look different, but they look the same when the lights come on. These are difficult times for all of us. I hope you have a better understanding of the vehicles that we drive and the uniforms we wear. If you think you're being pulled over by a police impersonator, slow down and activate your four ways. Call 911 and be prepared to give them a description of your vehicle and your location. You can also stop at a highly populated area like a supermarket or a box store. If you must be on the road, please drive safely. We're all in this together.